Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. All right, for, for Aries, for Aries, what do they need to know about the person they are thinking about at this time? I'm using the Wild Unknown Oracle, Oracle deck, not Oracle, Oracle deck to get your energies here. So all of the decks that I use are linked down below. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it will not resonate with every Aries watching. You all know the drill. Okay, spare messages for Aries, please. Tell me about Aries and how Aries feels about this person. That they're, oh, that was fast. Beaver and Unicorn, wow. Uh, Beaver is very um, loyal, protective, hardworking, and the Unicorn is all about, it's a spirit, spirit card, and it's all about kind of um, wondering if what you believe is true, uh, wondering if something's too good to be true. So maybe this person that you're dealing with, Aries, is someone that might feel like they're too good to be true. Uh, maybe they tick all your boxes. Maybe they are someone that you can definitely see yourself having a family with or something like that. Tell me about Aries person, the person that Aries is thinking about. What are their thoughts or feelings? So I can ask my question first. <laughs> what are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time? That was sloppy. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Aries at this time? My gosh, what is going on with my cards? Okay, I'll just take these two because my deck does not want to play nice. Eagle and raccoon. Ooh, interesting. So the raccoon um, tends to be kind of shifty. Um, they wear a mask. They are... I don't know why I'm picking up nervous energy here because I was going to say they're kind of nervous, but I'm thinking, I don't think that's what the, my deck, my um, book, my guidebook tells me. I'm going to read that just to double check, but I'm picking up nervous energy from that. And then Eagle, um, the Eagle sees things from, from a higher distance. fire i just i am feeling fire energy from that some of you might be dealing from a fire sign i don't know why i am for your person aries i'm picking up stuff that i wasn't picking up for you so let me just quickly look at the raccoon by the way huge thank you to everyone who has liked shared supported the channel in any way i really appreciate you watching my videos and being present in the comments and um yeah, I just feel so much love from you guys. So thank you so much for those of you that take the time to watch my videos and comment and support the channel. So the raccoon, I have talented, shadowy, in hiding. Talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artist's favors. Favor, other times it limits creativity. Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. Fear, that's kind of like what I was picking up. Usually I think this is someone that's just kind of in hiding, um, someone that is hiding who they truly are out of fear, someone who maybe isn't completely themselves uh, when it comes to like a relationship or something like that. But interesting how they're, this book, um, when it comes to this card, it's all about kind of creative energy. So I think this is something to do with, you know, we use it in the context that we're doing love reading. Um, I think it's something where your person is probably unsure if they're going to be accepted, if they can be themselves around you and be still accepted, something like that. Um, let's look at the eagle. The eagle and the hawk are very similar. I always have to read these two. And it doesn't help that they're like one after the other in the book either. 
all-pervading power truth seeker transforms karma when in balance bright radiant challenges that's why i'm picking up like fire energy from here for some reason um the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun this great bird is both physically and spiritually strong represents mastery over the elements of fire and air okay that makes sense okay uh, when the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grab the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think. I feel like your person is trying to build up the courage to approach you, to have something to do with you, Aries. Maybe I'm picking up fire because they're thinking about you and... They want to like grab this and go, you know, like take this first as far as they can take it. So let's get into the tarot here. Message is for Aries, please. This message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But like I said um, earlier, it's not going to resonate with everyone watching. That's kind of impossible. There's too many people watching, too many energies. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Come back next week. Maybe it'll be your message then. Um, if it mostly resonates, then, you know, take that and um, take, take what resonates and leave the rest, basically. Not everything will resonate 100%, but maybe most of the message will for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. This is the Light Seer's Tarot. I'll start with you, Aries. Tell me about uh, the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. What energy is Aries bringing into this connection at this time? What energy is Aries bringing? That is way too many. And also kind of sloppy. This deck is always a little bit like too thick for, for my little hands to really shuffle. What energy is Aries bringing to this connection spirit? Nine of Pentacles roofs. Can I? I can't. I'm all over the place today, so I apologize for that. Uh, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. I feel like you're trying to match this person. Um, I feel like when you think of this person, this person is someone that you admire or that has their life together or is not afraid of hard work. Someone who has a lot of potential. I feel like you're trying to match them because right now, I don't think you either are feeling very confident or self-assured or independent right now with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Some of you could even be in a relationship right now or, or some sort of attachment. What else for Aries? What else can you tell me about Aries spirit regarding the person that you're in a connection with? Seven of Cups reversed. And King of Swords. So I feel like um, you're thinking about this connection. Um, they could be in an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you're thinking about this connection in a very rational sense, um, very logical, um, trying to be smart about it. Also, there could be like a truth that you want to um, get to the bottom of here. Maybe you suspect your person is not being completely honest with you about something. Or maybe um, you just want to know more out of curiosity. Now with the Seven of Cups reversed, um, I feel like there's clarity here. You're interested in clarity and knowing something. Um, you, I feel like you don't want to feel unsure in this connection or like you have doubts in this connection. Seven of Cups reversed, that could also be that you've made a choice out of several options. You've made a choice here. So tell me about the person that Aries, if I can ask my question. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection spirit? The person that Aries is dealing with, what are their energies in this connection spirit? What are their energies? Knight of Wands, fire. Look at that card. Your person wants something. I don't know why I'm picking up such fiery energy. I just am. Either they really want you, they're attracted to you, they're motivated towards you, want to make a move on you, something like that. 
what else for this person that Aries is dealing with? By the way, even though you're over here, Aries, and your person is on this side, feel free to flip it if it resonates more because energy can be flipped. What else for the person that Aries is dealing with? What else for the person that Aries is dealing with? The wheel reversed. Interesting. So maybe the timing is not the best or your person's facing some obstacles here. That could be that karmic fire because the wheel reverse could be, could have something to do with karma. Your person could be undergoing or going through a karmic situation or having some sort of transformation in their life. Um, but I feel like right now they, they might feel a little bit stuck. Maybe the timing isn't right. Maybe things aren't working out for them the way they hoped. What else for the person that Aries is dealing with? Oh, it's way too many. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about this person that Aries is dealing with? What are their energies? Okay, I got two. Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords. There's that, like, nervous, worried, anxious energy. The raccoon. And then I have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have a lot of emotion for you, or they see you as someone very compassionate, intuitive. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that they see you as, like, really someone that um is loving compassionate um they have a lot like i said a lot of feelings when it comes to you and it, these feelings are motivating them so let me move this over a little bit yep so what is going on oh i grab my card i don't know what's going on with me today i really don't know i feel great i just i i feel like nothing is really everything's like kind of like all over the place Okay, what is the mutual energy? What is going on in this connection sphere between Aries and this person? What is the mutual energy here? What's going on in this connection? Page of Cups reversed. Disappointment, heartbreak. Someone here has their dreams. It, it feels like maybe their dream has been, uh, their bubble has burst. There might have been some sort of heartbreaking situation. Maybe there was rejection or just disappointment um, at, at the state of things. What else can you tell me about this connection? What are the mutual energies here between Aries and this person they are thinking about or dealing with at this time? Three of Wands reversed. Impatience. Someone could have missed the boat here and is very disappointed about it. Um, there could be bad timing. Again, too much time has passed or someone's tired of waiting. Um, someone might have been impatient and, you know, it got them in trouble or there might be setbacks here, delays. So let's get to the bottom of this. Let's clarify these energies here. Let me clarify these energies for Aries. Let me clarify these energies for Aries, please. Let me clarify these energies for Aries, please. Let me clarify these energies for Aries, please. What energies is Aries dealing with? Let's start with this Page of Cups reverse. Why is the Page of Cups reverse here? What happened? Spirit, why is the Page of Cups reversed here for Aries? Four of Wands reversed. Okay. Lack of harmony could be fighting, arguments, um, lack of stability. This could be some of you are involved in a marriage or someone uh, in this connection has been in a marriage or a long-term commitment where they were living with someone. Maybe um, there's been uh, some sort of fracture between you and this person uh, where you're not seeing eye to eye, where there's conflict. Could also be a family situation for some of you. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. And that's been very disappointing or heartbreaking. I think it's delayed this connection and that's disappointing. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords. 
communication, clarity, truth. I feel like someone wants to talk about either someone wants to talk about what's going on, um, why things is, have been delayed or why an opportunity was missed. Someone could be wanting to talk about that. Or it could be that someone wants to kind of clear the air here, uh, be on the same page with you. Um, this is mutual energy, so it could be either of you up here. But someone I feel like wants to just have things be clear, and I think that's you because I have the King of Swords on your end over here. Um, but I think it's very important to move this forward. It's some sort of communication or truth to be communicated here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Page of Pentacles, okay. I feel like you're waiting for an opportunity here, a message to kind of get, get things started, get things moving. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Maybe you're losing confidence because this offer hasn't arrived yet, or maybe it's a very slow offer. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse here? Page of Wands reverse. So something really hasn't, I feel like because something didn't fully start here, you were you were looking at different options, starting to, to try to decide what to do. Because something hadn't officially started or it was stop and go, there was maybe false starts. And so you had to make a choice. You had to figure out what to do next or um, how you were going to handle the situation possibly. I think it caused confusion. Whatever didn't take place for you caused some sort of confusion. Maybe you started doubting yourself and now you're really interested in clarity. Why is the King of Swords here? For Aries. Why is the King of Swords here? For Aries. Interesting. So what I see here with the Ten of Wands reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, and the Hangman reversed, I feel like you're breaking free of emotional and like mental baggage. I feel like at some point you were refusing to let go of this weight or this burden that was either like something that was weighing heavy on your heart, on your mind, uh, maybe responsibilities in this connection or feeling like you were shouldering a lot of the weight in this connection. Um, maybe all of the mental like anxiety and stress or doubting or overthinking like it took a toll on you and you are just over like you're ready to let this go. I feel like you can also see like what exactly took place here. Um, I feel like you because well, I have the King of Swords here is very direct, very uh, clear. He could communicate clearly, sees things clearly, very intelligent. Um, nothing gets past him. Very wise person. Um, he does not let his emotions affect his decision making. Um, and so I feel like th there's something that you, what you couldn't see before. A situation, you couldn't see a situation for what it truly was before, but now you can. And I feel like you're going to do something about it. Either communicate something or uh, make a decision here. Because I have the Seven of Cups reversed. This is an option that's been chosen. Okay, so let's clarify this uh, Knight of Wands. What does your person want? This Knight of Wands. Oh, okay. Well, they want to recover what they've lost with the Five of Cups reverse. Whatever they want is tied to the past. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Why is the wheel reverse? Why is the wheel of fortune reverse? Nope. Nope. Why is the wheel of fortune reverse? Ace of Cups reverse, disappointment and heartbreak. Maybe this is causing um, someone's emotionally overwhelmed and it's causing them to, um, it's almost like it's, it's, it's a barrier. Yeah, and this has to do with a connection. So for some of you, this is someone who, I feel like they let their emotions uh, control how they react 
or, or control their decisions. Um, it it kind of influences how they act, how they behave towards you. Um, maybe they're a very sensitive person or something like that. Um, I feel like, you know, if there was some sort of heartbreak between you, maybe if there was a separation or hurtful uh, words exchanged or something that was very painful between you, I think it's caused things to be delayed. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's your person worried about? Why is the Nine? Okay. Four of Pentacles reversed. This is letting go. Letting go or not wanting to let go, being stubborn. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. There's the Nine of Swords here. Where's the Nine of Swords here, Spirit? High Priestess reversed. So uh, some sort of secret or revelation, someone speaking up. Whatever your person was hiding or keeping to themselves out of fear, I feel like they're gonna, they need to speak up. Yeah, and then I have the Page of Swords reversed. So it's something like they haven't told you the whole story about something. It could be about how they truly feel, about the future of this connection, about what happened in the past. Something here that's not being um, communicated clearly. There could be a blocked message, like they haven't told you something. Because so I have the High Priestess here. She's reversed with the Four of Pentacles. So it's, all, it's like they need to let go of this, of whatever's delaying or, you know they could even have to let go of this worry and anxiety and just speak up you know stop overthinking or feeling guilty like do something about it you know there's a lot of love here with the queen of cups tell me more about this queen of cups can you tell me about this queen of cups tell me spirit about this queen of cups Five of Wands reverse. So they no longer want to fight. They want to overcome the fighting, overcome the arguing, the conflict, recover from this. <clears throat> they want to avoid a tower moment. It could be a separation they want to avoid or something big like that. There's a lot of history here. Yeah, there's the sun right after that. Leo energy. Um, I feel like they they don't want things to end i have the ten of pentacles right after that and i think they're trying to avoid a big shake up um whether it's a big shake up with you or a big shake up in their life you know but i feel like emotions i feel like either this person is a very sensitive person or very emotional person um, whether male or female and i feel like maybe that is a problem here or the fact that there was heartbreak or in conflict here is a problem. One of those two things. And yeah, otherwise I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.